bizarre situation, but uh, you know, make no mistake, Cole Palmer was sensational last night. Four more goals. He is a star for Chelsea, isn't he? Superstar, possibly for England as well. Manchester City could end up winning the league. They've got lots of good players. Do you think they regret selling him? It's one of those perfect situations, really, I think, for everyone involved here. Manchester City would have looked at this at the time in the summer and gone £42 million for a young player that's come through our academy that's barely made an impact on the first team. You have to remember, before he joined Chelsea, he'd not scored in the league. Uh, and now, of course, he's having an incredible campaign from Rizzo Pochettino. But at the time, £42 million for that type of a player looked like really good business for Manchester City. And, of course, as we know, it's 100% offset with PSR. So it's big profit for Manchester City. That's one of the reasons why they would have looked to, to sell him. Uh, you look at what Chelsea got at the time, it was a lot of money, big investment. But of course now, Cole Palmer looks like he's worth double the £42 million that they spent on him. He has been brilliant. 11 goals in his last six Premier League games. A hat-trick last night in 29 minutes. It's back-to-back hat-tricks in the Premier League as well for him. And... Um, the first player to get back-to-back -back hat tricks since Didier Drogba in 2010 right. for Chelsea. So he is creating his own piece of history whilst at the football club. Mm. Inevitably, the England chat will come down the line as well. We know that Steve Holland was at the bridge last night to watch his performance. He'll be reporting back to Gareth Southgate saying, yeah, absolutely, no question about it. And I guess to answer your question, the other big thing for Pep Guardiola and Manchester City, was he going to take Phil Foden's place was he going to be better than Kevin De Bruyne, David Silva, Jack Grealish? So actually, they were looking at it thinking, we're going to get big money for someone that potentially would only be on our bench uh, at best. Mm. Um, but this is one of those situations. To become a better player, you need to play. Cole Plummer has said, like, I need to go and move on and walk away from this incredible Manchester City setup and create my own career now. And he's certainly doing that at Chelsea. Yeah. I mean, there's a sideline to that as well. It just sort of brings in the whole PSR situation too, which we can get into another time, I'm sure. But it seems ridiculous that, you know, it's better for you to sell your homegrown players for PSR reasons. And Chelsea might have the same problem with Conor Gallagher coming up. I, I personally don't understand that. Yeah, it's, it's something that will be a big factor between the end of the season and the end of June. PSR. We've seen it with Nottingham Forest. We've seen it with mm. Everton. And as things stand, you can offset those players that come through your academy with 100% against yeah. PSR. So, so you're encouraged to sell your homegrown players, which, which seems which is counterintuitive. Which is bizarre, but it's something that's happening. You know, yeah. If you sell, buy a player for £50 million and sell him for £60 million, you don't necessarily get £60 million to spend. It depends on the book price and the amortisation mm. of that player. That's where it gets really complicated. But with players that come through the academy, you sell them for £42 million, you get £42 million offset. And yeah. that's why big Premier League sides are using that as an avenue. Yeah, that's probably why Cole Palmer went to Chelsea. Anyway, that's another story. We'll talk about that another <laughs> time. Uh, there's lots, been lots of criticism, hasn't there, of uh, Todd Bowley and Clear Lake in terms of the takeover. Uh, a lot of negativity in the press all season, really. But could this season, when you look at the table, end on a real positive for Chelsea? Yeah, let's take a look at the Premier League table at the moment because I think Chelsea could potentially be ones to watch between now and the end of the campaign. They're now into the top 10 on 47 points, only a point behind West Ham, only three behind Manchester United and Newcastle. But of course, significantly, they've got a couple of games in hand on West Ham, a game in hand on Manchester United and Newcastle. And their goal difference is reasonable as well. So you actually look at that situation mm. and you think, if they continue to win their remaining fixtures, they've still got seven games left in this Premier League campaign. Could they potentially sneak into Europe? Could they really mm. cause a, a few problems for those sides that are looking, thinking, right, this is our European spot. We can't lose this now. Suddenly, Chelsea could be there. They also got to the League Cup final, didn't yep. they? So narrowly beaten in the end by Liverpool. They've got a semi final at Wembley this weekend against Manchester City. So potentially, again, they could go and win the FA Cup. They could certainly get to the final. Depends what Manchester City turn up on the day and qualify for European football. So actually, whilst there is all that noise about this season, Todd Bowley, the billion pound spend, the bottle jobs, as Gary Neville called them, could this end up being a reasonable season, not by their high standards of winning Premier League titles, but actually, when you look at the bigger picture, this young team, you're seeing a lot of growth there and development. And Mauricio Pochettino will be saying, right, this year is, is about building. Next year will be far better. We'll look to punch into the top four 
you never know, he could still finish this season with an FA Cup. Yeah, they could. And last night's evidence, they're in very good form. Thank you very much, Mark.